Hi, it's Chris from Discovery Learning. Today I'm here to give you a demonstration of our latest add-on for LearnDash, which is designed to give course developers more options for what can be displayed on a learner's course certificate. So the background for this, as many of you that have created certificates in LearnDash will know, is that there is a limited number of short codes that can be used as standard in LearnDash. All of the available shortcodes for displaying dynamic content specific to a particular user can be found on the LearnDash support site. And you can see that we can grab some standard WordPress meta fields like the username, email, etc. As well as some values that LearnDash provides which relate to course and quiz information. So the scenario may be that you need to display other custom metadata that the user may provide when they sign up for a course on your platform. And this could be anything like a company department name, employee ID number, membership ID, or perhaps a CPD number, for example. And this is exactly what we have built. And best of all, you can grab this for free directly from our website today. So let me first give you a demonstration of how this works, and then I will break down the steps to take to get this working on your own LearnDash site. So here on our LearnDash demo site, which is freely open for anybody to access at the following address, I have created a new closed course called Flexible Checkout Fields Certificate Shortcodes Example Course, which is tied into a WooCommerce product page for the user to sign up and submit their details to complete their learner profile. Here on the checkout page, I have a number of text fields that are standard in WooCommerce, but I have also included this membership number field, which is the custom user data that I want to have displayed on the learner certificate upon completing the course. So let's go ahead and sign up now with some made up values here. And now that I'm all set up with a learner account and have enrolled into the course, I shall go ahead and take it. Now the course itself is nothing special in my case, but you can assume that this could be one of your complete courses full of lessons, topics and quizzes. And now that the course is finished, I shall hit the print certificate button. And as you can see, my certificate template is all set up, ready to display that custom metadata along with some of the more standard values that we get with LearnDash. So let me now take you through each step to take to get your course sign up and certificate generation working like mine. So you will have noticed before that I had named my course Flexible Checkout Fields example, as it is the Flexible Checkout Fields plugin made by WP Desk that I am using to generate the additional text fields on my checkout screen and to have those values transfer to the user profile page in WordPress. This is a free plugin and works really well in this case, but you don't necessarily need to use this particular plugin just so long as the custom metadata that you want to take over to the LearnDash certificate gets stored on the user profile page and not, for example, the WooCommerce customer order page. So with this plugin installed, I'm able to set out my checkout form with any number of additional text fields. Using this free version, we can also set fields to be mandatory to complete and if we wanted to validate the user's input, such as to make the membership number conform to a specific standard, then we can achieve this with the premium version. Just to demonstrate this a bit further, I'm going to add another text field to the checkout page in order to get the user's job role within their organization. So now that everything is in place, I am going to install our new LearnDash add-on, which can be downloaded directly from our website at the following address. It is our plugin that will allow us to take these new meta fields and convert them into short codes so that we can paste them into our course certificate. So now that we have our checkout form ready, we now need to build our certificate short code using a specific piece of data that we will find on the user profile page. To do this, we can go to any user profile that is currently on the site and I just need to scroll down until I find the value boxes created by the Flexible Checkout Fields plugin. What I need to do now is discover what label for ID has been set for these values. And the quickest way to do this is to use the inspect element feature that is built into the browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome and I will right click on the label just here and click inspect element. And here in the element inspector window, it has highlighted the code that generates this particular row. 
and right here is the label for ID that I'm looking for, which includes a random number string that is generated at the end. What I need to do is take a copy of this and I will just paste it into a notepad document for now. And now I am ready to go and build my short code on my Learn Dash certificate page. Okay, so here is my certificate which I built in Learn Dash and I have a JPEG file ready for the background design of the page and I have used some HTML content to build the structure of the certificate. Right now I'm using some short codes as standard to Learn Dash for displaying the username, course info and date of completion. So it's now time to write our own short code which will get our plugin working. And this looks slightly different to the regular short codes but not by a lot. We open brackets and type user underscore meta, then a space, and then key equals sign. And directly after this, we need to type in the value of the label that we discovered in the previous step. And finally, we close the bracket. And that's it. So when this certificate is generated by the user, this unique value will be grabbed directly from their own profile page. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. So here it is with that new shortcode that we created working on the page as well. And before I go, I just wanted to point out that this shortcode can also be used throughout the site. So for example, if you wanted to display the data in the user's profile page in LearnDash, you would just need to include the shortcode in the page as shown here. I hope that you find this new feature useful and I wish you good luck building your next level learning experiences in LearnDash.